Well, the teacher that made a difference in, in, in my life, well, there's been several, you know, um, I guess it starts out with, you know, me growing up in El Salvador. Uh, the first one there that I can remember is uh, Miss Lucy. She was my first grade teacher. You know, she was just a teacher that, you know, always pushed me, always pushed me to do better. Uh, she was the one that, you know, recognized that that grade level wasn't enough. You know, it's just pushing more and more and more. She's, so she set high expectations for me, and I love that. And I think from that moment forward, you know, I just continue to do better each time. You know, I was always set the high, the bar high because of her. It was a very unique experience, though, because that was in El Salvador. Now, coming over here to the United States um, in elementary school, you know, skipping grade and fourth grade, it was a very different experience. Um Public education wasn't the same public education that I was receiving over there. I felt like there was something missing, and I don't know what it was. But the one that I do remember him, uh, Mr. Chapas, he was a fourth, fifth grade combo mix in, 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 at Selma Elementary here in Hollywood. And he was the one that just, you know, you're like, well, you speak no English. You know, I speak Spanish, so we were able to relate. But I was given a task the first time. It was just, I still remember it. Be like, here, blank piece of paper all 50 states you have to name the 50 capitals and go for it and we're competing against fourth and fifth graders i don't know what it was I, I guess the love of geography the love of maps and everything but i memorized every single state i memorized every single capital i only got one wrong and it was because of him and just the connection that we made the relationship that we had because i spoke spanish he spoke spanish you know we would talk about other things not necessarily related to the curriculum and we had those natural conversations that because of that relationship that we have built in that short amount of time, I was able to do well in that test. And I still remember the one wrong that I got was the capital of, of, of Maryland, Annapolis. And I beat all the fifth graders. And I, how does a fourth grade student that had just been what, was here in the United States for two months do that? But it was, it was, I go back to it and reflecting on it. It's the connection that you make with a teacher. I wanted to prove him. I wanted to show him that I can do it. The same way that you always prove as a child to your parents, the same concept that you don't want to let them down. I think like for me, that's always been the biggest thing. I don't want to let anybody down. So I always strive for excellence, but it started with Miss Lucy. Then then moving on high school and, and looking at some of the teachers there. I mean, I've had such great teachers, but I've always sought, look for those teachers, look for those teachers, because it's not your general, like here I'm teaching, you're listening, and you have, everybody has to sit down in one area. No, the teachers that I had were the teachers that allow me to sit wherever I want, do the, uh, do the, the, the project the way that I wanted to do it. You know, gave me freedom to do the things that I wanted to do. And those are Mr. Itkin for English. You know, he gave me a passion just to read just to read poetry, read literature. You're looking at 11th grade content of literature, you know, 12th grade. You know, the way he read the books just made him come alive. And I think that's why I got the passion. Just to, The way that I read to my students is the way that he read to me. You know, it's that concept, Ms. Golub, Mr. Tuamala, Mr. Goldsmith. Those are the teachers that were just out-of-the-box thinkers, just never kind of looked at education as like, I am instructing, you are listening. And that's it. No, it was never that. It was always a conversation. It was always about laughter, having fun. And then finally, I mean, I get to grad school and everything. And then here comes Cynthia McDermott, you know, me thinking, you know, I'm going to get a master's in education. I need to get my last license as a educator. And she pushes to another limit, introduces me concepts that I had known that I was doing them, but I didn't know what the term was. And it wasn't until I reflected from that class that I know what they are. Choice theory, you know, looking at one of those things. But Cynthia, she pushed the, the my thinking to another level, to where I'm at now, to where I am pushing that same limit to other teachers, to other students, not giving him answers. Fred, another person, he taught most of his class without even saying a word. It was more about questioning. You had to quote questions. I'm like, well, what do you think? You know, well, what do you think? Well, what about that? It's more about turning it to the child. What do they think? 
what it go in there. Cynthia was that person that just like, you know, she had a passion for books and that passion continued. And I now use children's book. If you look at the library that I have in my living room, children's books of all types, you know, every single type, you know, I have a book for everything. You know, if a kid is bullying, I have a book for that. If a kid is being up, upset, I have a book for that. You know, having two dads, I have a book for that. Having two moms, having different families, just there's always there. Why? Because they start a conversation, but the book brings it to a level where it's there. So how have all these teachers come together and made a difference in my life? They've introduced what effective teacher is because I didn't do the things because an assignment, I did it for the person. You know, once you intrinsically motivate a child because they want to do better, once you put them in their quality world, and that's what Cynthia instilled in me, that's when you know it's in there. I go back to that movie. I always teach this with every class that I go. Movie Pixar, looking at um, Inside Out, those quality worlds, those islands that we build. That's what Glasser talks about. If if a child, you is you put, let me go back. If a child goes in there and puts a teacher or education or learning as part of their quality world, there is no stopping them as to how they can learn. And that's what these teachers did in my life.